What is going on guys, welcome back to another Burst of Destiny preview deck. Being the cover archetype for the set in the OCG, Heroes got a small but meaningful buff on the Destiny side of things with a new boss monster and some other cards. Unlike Shang Jian, this isn't going to be a video where I take a lot of time explaining the plays, because truthfully speaking not much has changed for the deck when it comes to combos. The deck still utilizes the Vision Hero combo of Forest and Vion to send either Shadow Mist or whatever you need while searching Polymerization for the much needed fusion plays. Fusion Destiny is still an amazing fusion card as it can send your much needed malicious and the new denier to the grave to get your plays rolling. Getting onto the new cards, the main new addition to the deck has been quite popular and that is Destiny Hero Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. This monster is a non-targeting Phantom Knight's Breaksword with the added effect of reviving a D hero monster on the standby phase when it is destroyed including itself. This card is so good that some decks have splashed in a small engine to just use Verda Anaconda for Fusion Destiny just to get this bad boy out. Going first to second, this guy is a great new addition for the deck as unlike Dystopia, it doesn't need attack modifications to pop a card. The next main deck monster we got was D-Hero Denier who in all honesty was made to sort of work the deck through the malicious semi-limit it has. Not only is it a free revive when you control any D-Hero monster, it can place another D-Hero from the banner zone or the deck to the top of the deck on summer. The main use for this is getting the malicious back to use its effect again, but there have been times where I saw other potential plays available. There is a new trap that is rather broken called Break the Destiny Now 2. It allows you to pop a level 8 or higher D hero monster to skip your opponent's main phase 1, and with the new Phoenix Enforcer it is quite terrifying if you can land that combo. I didn't see the trap at all, but skipping the main phase 1 with the small cost of popping a monster who can come back is quite scary. Its second effect lets you search a spell or trap with a D-Hero monster's name in the text, which leads me to the last card, D-Force. The rest of the cards seem to support D-Hero Plasma directly, which I am not mad at because playing the deck reminded me of how good he is as a monster. As long as you control Plasma, D-Force protects all of your cards from being targeted, and your Plasma gets a cheap attack boost depending on the grave count. I personally don't think this should be the focus of the deck, but based on your opening hand, if you can land the full combo with this, it is quite nice. That pretty much covers all the new cards and like I said most of the opening plays in the rest of the list remains the same. My own gripe was that Dynatag is not as valuable now so I should have cut it sooner but it is easily replaced with another forest or D hero of your choice. Since this deck doesn't have a direct normal summon monster, Vion felt good at 3 copies since Stratos' only hopeful search would be either forest or a discard piece for forest. The sunrise into absolute zero combo is still a very strong route to go of Vion alone but I specifically strayed away from it to show off the newer cards instead. While a hero lives is always welcome to see, Fusion Destiny is all you need alone really to get started as it will get you Phoenix Enforcer and Malicious and Denier on the field to link away into Cross Crusader. From there you can search Vion manually, but since I had the other cards I decided to use them to try and bait more hand traps like Ash Blossom. There are a few ending boards to go for here, but like I mentioned getting Phoenix and Plasma was my primary goal along with draw hand into dark law on my opponent's turn. It isn't the most broken board ever, but banishing all of your opponent's cards and stopping monster effects on the field with an additional pop is pretty strong. Honest Neos is also icing on top as it can protect your dark law or plasma from being run over before it can get a decent attack boost. Other available routes that you can go for which are pretty old school are going into Sunrise for the Miracle Fusion into Absolute Zero play, followed by Mass Changing into Acid for a board clear. Fusion Destiny does lock you into Dark Monsters so you can't do it here without the Forest combo first most likely, but it is also still a strong board if you decide not to tribute 3 monsters for Plasma. You can also make Cross Decimator alongside Dystopia and Phoenix for the Dystopia pop, but I just found Plasma to be too good in a lot of matches. Nibiru as seen on screen is a terrible nightmare for this deck especially since no hero monster has a clean way to stop it. Your only hope is to avoid overextending, but in this replay I did discover that you can still use Phoenix's effect really quickly to give yourself a chance to fight back next turn. With Draw Hand also triggering on the standby phase, there was a chance to even get Dark Lord back which makes the Nibiru hit almost irrelevant as we still have a pop and Honest Neos in the hand. I did make the mistake of popping both of my monsters on Nibiru's activation which lowered the token stats, but it mostly didn't matter. Outside of Nibiru getting hit with Ash Blossom at a crucial point, or Droll and Lockbird is another nightmare surprisingly, but there are ways to make a board despite those hits. All in all, the deck got some really good support and it's still fun to play whether going second or first, so I'm looking forward to using it in the actual CCG ladders when the box comes out. 
Burst of Destiny is looking like a great set, but now Dawn of Majesty is finally arriving in the TCG, so I will be focusing on that next. Synchrons are on the way with the support, so expect to see that soon along with Despia. If you guys want to see a certain deck, TCG or OCG, let me know in the comments after you subscribe both here and on Twitch. Enjoy the replays, and I'll catch you next time. ディヒーローディアボリックゲイ来い! ビジョンヒーローバイオン! バイオンのモンスター効果発動!魔法カードリニティトリニティのモンスター効果発動ヤボリック街のエフェクト発動トリニティの攻撃トリニティクラッチ D-Hero,Phoenix-Gai! ビジョンヒーローバイオンバイオンのモンスター効果発動
運命を終わらせるには運命の始まりとなったこのカードがふさわしいかも究極の D ヒーローブルーティー来いビジョンヒーローバイオンバイオンのモンスター効果発動カモンビーヒーローディアボリックガイアボリックガイのエフェクト発動魔法カード融合発動カモンリーヒーローフェニックスガイル運命を終わらせるには運命の始まりとなったこのカードがふさわしいカモン究極のリーヒーローブルーティー運命を終わらせるには運命の始まりとなったこのカードがふさわしいカモン究極の D ヒーローブルーディーブルーディーのエフェクト発動クラッティブラッドブルーディーの攻撃クラッティフィアス
ヒーローとヒーローの戦い最高のデュエルをやろうぜ現れろエレメンタルヒーローシャドウミストシャドウミストの効果発動カモン D ヒーローフェニックスガイディアボリックガイのエフェクト発動ディーヒーローディアボリックガイカモン究極のディーヒーローブルーティーマスクチェンジ変身マスクのヒーローダークロウダークロウの効果発動どちらが真のヒーロー使いか決着をつけるが負けたわけじゃないデッドリー以外のエフェクト発動いけデッドリー以外でアタックガッチャ楽しいデュエルだったぜまた戦ってくれよな